It was a great day today training at uh, at Mohawk. Uh, I talked to James in length after. He said, geez, you know, they were good, but they weren't razor sharp. And I said, well, James, they had trained down with the American horses. Then we slowed them down. Didn't go any fast quarters with them for three weeks. No fast halves, just mile and a half, mile and a half, and then brought them over here. I said, if you remember, the American horses come over here shortly after we had at the at the exact same fork in the road so to speak so the american horses came to mohawk and started going big quarters and halves and the ontario horses backed off and i said that was three weeks i said just look up and down the row you know the first time the american breads came here they were just ripping the cross ties down in the paddock they were feeling good and they were sharp and they're ready to go the ontario horses today were all pretty quiet this was the first time they had big quarters and big halves really if anything since the open house so that was what may 12th it's almost a full month since these horses were shown any speed like this. It was great today. Everybody did a great job. Anywhere from 2.6 to 2.8 today. Um, unless I'm missing something here. Just let me look quick. Um, two breakers. Two breakers today. And one that never made, made a break made one. So, um, you know, we had 22 horses over here. And 20 of them stayed on gate, did it well. And uh, we'll get to the two that made breaks. One of them, as I said, never does. I'm gonna tinker with her shoeing a little bit. And the other horse, uh, Sylvain said she was just looking around. Anyway, we'll start it off with set number one. I got little snippets of video. I don't know if we're gonna link them up. I guess we will to this to this email. First uh, set was Ale Sun, and she looked good. <laughs> she looked real good. Now, the first breaker of the day was Enjoying My Life, who, as you can remember all winter, never, ever, ever made a break, ever and um, made a break today, made a break today. Louis Philip Wall was nice enough to come over. He went with a couple of horses. So, um, uh, Ale Sun was perfect. Enjoying my life, made a little break. We're gonna tinker with her shoeing, get her back on track. Fuss Pot and her finished up real good together. Ale Sun and Fuss Pot, two eight, come a half and one, one and four, one, one and three. And then Time Old Dazzle and um, Titan actually was the other one that made a little break. Now Sylvain, this was the first time that um, Canadian Titan was off the farm, and they'll do this from time to time. And today the sun was coming in, was was coming out and going away. There were shadows popping up all over the track. Sylvain said she just looked at everything. That's what she's supposed to do. That's why we bring them over here to train before we school them, and then especially see that gate and school them before we qualify them. Perfect steps here. I think what you'll see on Tuesday when these babies come back is some sharp horses in uh, some sharp horses in the paddock. So what we had was Ale Sun was very, very good. Uh, Fuss Pot was good. Time Old Dazzle was a little weak. As I said, this is hard on them. This isn't an easy transition. And then uh, Canadian Titan and Join My Life both made little breaks, but they'll be fine. Then we had in the second one, we had six pacers go behind, well, not behind the gate, six pacers train. They went about 2-6 last half, 1-1 one, one last quarter in 29 seconds. One of them came 28 flat, and that was Capistrano. Um, so we had originally had Sylvain Filion to go with Capistrano, but you have to understand, now it's baby season for everybody virtually, and the paddock is jam-packed full of babies. We had 22 here, the paddock was full to brim, and Sylvain has other clients he goes with. He was on the track, Phil Houdon happened to be standing there. I said, hey, could you go with this filly for us? So Phil went with Capistrano, never seen her before, didn't know anything about her, sat last, was flying on the end of it. If you watch the video, she's on the far outside, 28 seconds flat on the end of it. Danny O'Brien went with Inland Beach, said she was running in a little bit. You can't, really just can't let this filly dawdle, right? And and Danny might not have been a perfect fit for this filly, but it's not a big deal. Today was really all just about stretching them out a little bit and getting them ready for what they're going to do in five days time, which is school. Inland Beach was good. Maybe a little, rather than a line pole, we'll put a Murphy and a head pole on the inside of her. We'll see on Tuesday. Miss Brampton Beast, she's always professional. She looked very good today. There might have been three or four horses sharp as attack after. She was one of them. You'll be very surprised to hear one of the other ones, though. Uh, Need Your Opinion was very good. Kevin said, yeah, she was really good. I moved her twice, and then we still had that big hood and earplugs plugging her up. He said, you know, just a set of earplugs on her next week. She'll be lights out. And I agree. Need Your Opinion was very good. Louis Philip Waugh went with Trafalgar. He loves this filly. He actually only came over here to go with her. He ended up going with a couple more. But Louis came over here to go with Trafalgar. He had asked me two things. Louis asked me last week. 
I'd like to go with Trafalgar and Compass Rose DC. No, there was one other one. Sebastian U. They're the three horses in our barn that Louis specifically asked to go with. Sebastian U, Trafalgar, and Compass Rose DC. Little uh, tidbit for you guys out there. Um, those were his three that he wanted to go with. He came over to go with Trafalgar. Said she was running in, but we do have a Murphy on the outside of her. So we'll just take that Murphy off. He thinks she was great. Otherwise, Wiggle Delight was very good. The only hiccup with Wiggle is... She doesn't miss anything on the track. She sees everything. Bit of a trait with these betters delights, eh? Giddy up Max the same way. He sees everything on the track. So we're going to put maybe a... Uh, last year, Maintenance Man had that shadow blind that he wore. We're going to put that shadow blind on Wiggle Delight next week. James said lots of pace, lots of pace on the end of it. That was the second grouping. Third grouping, Don't Believe Me, Just Watch, Frontier Cruise, Giddy Up Max, uh, McPherson Thunder, Utopian, Watch Ev. The only sluggish one was Watch Ev. Now, if you remember, Watch Ev only came back to the barn a few days before the open house. So the big mile he went was really only 210, come a half and two on open house day. Looked good doing it, but hasn't gone any speed since. So he finished at the back, one mile and two eighth, but did it right. That will stretch him out real, real good for um, Tuesday. Don't Believe Me, Just Watch was very good. 2-6, last half, 59, last quarter, 28-4. And, and uh, Kevin said he was very good. Frontier Cruise was coming to him down the lane, looked good. Louis Philippois jumped up, and this guy said he was very good. Just needs a lot of work over here at the track. He's a big horse. He needs to stretch out. He's 100% right. Giddy up, Max. Now we have a line pull and a Murphy on this guy on the inside for um, Tomiko to train him there. But over here, he was running away from both and looking at the shadows. James said maybe just a line pull outside and pull his head up so he can't see those shadows with a shadow roll on. Um, McPherson Thunder, a little more work. He's been going with the Americans. Come over here today, 2, 6, and 3 maybe. But Mario said he was very good. Scott Young filled in for Sylvain, who was out in the track. Now you'll note that Sylvain was down to drive. Capistrano, so Phil went with him. And in the same in the next set, Sylvain was out in the track again. So I asked Scott Young to fill in. He went with Utopia and said he was good. So don't believe me, just watch. Actually won the training set, looked great. Frontier Cruise was second. I believe uh, the next three were right across the track for third. Uh, Giddy Up Max, um, McPherson Thunder, and Utopian. And then just behind them was Watch Avenue. The last set, fourth set, uh, Trotters, and they all stayed at it. I told you there was some horses sharp as attack after. The one that surprised me the most, Muscle Chrome. She's coming around. She was right on her hind legs coming out of the paddock today. So the winner of that set was Sebastian Ray. This is a step down for him from where he's been all winter. Um, enduring strength was very good. Louis said he was biting the right line good. If you watch the video, I make reference to it too. You can see him running in down the lane. Uh, he said maybe a trip to the vet. We'll go with him on Tuesday, put a head pull instead of a line pull on him, change some of his headgear and uh, go with him on Tuesday. Hometown boys, lazy as always. You can see James getting at him down the lane. Mile and 2.8. I really hope this guy comes to life when he sees the gate. He is a beautiful trotter. He looks great. He does it right. Just needs to do more of it and want to do more of it. So uh, approaching a little bit of a, a precipice with him and his attitude. But uh, Mario believes when he sees the starting gate, he'll come to life. And I have every reason to believe he's probably right. But we will see soon enough, won't we? Uh, Tiamo Hanover, now he wasn't really ready for a whole lot. Uh, Kevin McMaster was going with him. So Kevin, he gets a little rolly in the straightaways and Kevin ended up getting back with him a little bit. He said, finally, I just gave up, hit him a swat in the butt. And he said he was fine after that. I said, maybe I should have told you before. He just gets a little rolly out of gear. Uh, it still touches himself a big colt on this track. We get the flip-flops off him and start changing his shoes. He'll be fine, but he was a little bit behind. He was ready for a little more than 210 or 212 or whatever he went today, but... Nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, he looked good. Sebastian Ray won the set, and Muscle Chrome was third. So the end of the set, it ended up Sebastian Ray won it. Enduring Strength was second. Muscle Chrome was third. Hometown Boys was fourth. Tiamo Hanover was fifth. Very good day all around. We had some, uh, as I said, um, I knew this was going to happen when we haven't done anything really with them hard other than just put hard labor into them for the past three weeks without those sprint quarters 
what you might see, what, what they call in, in humans anyways, the fast twitch muscles, you're not going to see those horses really be able to spring into action because we have been working on them, on their sprinting. We've really just been putting time. Everything's going according to plan. It's exactly what I knew would happen today, and I think you'll see some sharper, stronger, faster horses on Tuesday. Like the goal mile on 2122. I don't want to be breaking two minutes with these Colts. Uh, then it'll be another 10 days back to qualifying. Probably have them over here for another tidy up session before the 22nd. Our goal, I guess, for right now is June 22nd for everybody. Uh, had a little setback with Classic Con yesterday. Nothing major. As you know, we've been having horses over to the vet all week. Uh, many of you have been watching the board, uh, the message board. Maybe I see them pop up or or uh, looking at what horse we're up. Or I've, I've had videos of them. Um, Classic Con hit a little line in his knee. Not a big deal. That'll that'll heal with time, and it was a great catch by the vet because had we tried to qualify him on Saturday, there's a very good chance that potential shadow or line that they might see in that knee would be very evident and uh, might have cost him a season. So uh, two weeks in the field, two weeks of jogging, then away you go with the big colt again. Classic Con is going to be in neutral for a couple of weeks. Not a big deal. Uh, and aside from that, I was hoping they were going to break the qualifiers up like they usually do Fridays and Saturdays this year. But no, they went with 13 qualifiers on Saturday. So minus Classic Con, we have 34. 34 that will be going. Uh, obviously, we have some driver changes to make, some other people to go with other horses. Uh, but a busy, busy one qualifier. There's eight in it and seven of them are ours. So it's a big... Big uh, heavy lifting day for us on Saturday. And then I told everybody, hey, I'm going to Ohio, I'm going to Ohio. Saturday afternoon, as soon as the qualifiers are over. I think maybe Amy and the kids will come too. I don't know. But um, either way, I'll be in Ohio Saturday night. Uh, work with Jason uh, and, the, and Oso Pines Sunday. And Oso Pines plan to be in on, on Tuesday, which would work out well. Um, see you in Tuscany race. Horrible the other day so we're going to have another look at him when I'm down there so two horses to look at down there for me will be uh, Oso Pine and uh, Oso Pine and see you in Tuscany uh, in reference quickly to last night I was happy with the way things went yes looked tremendous uh, it looked like that little the little horse that came first over was going to give him a scare I think yes it just dropped into neutral which is great I like to see that I didn't want him wound up last night Ryan Stahl did a great job with him no reason to believe that Ryan Stahl won't drive him in the Sire Stakes in uh, 10 days. Uh, as for West 52nd, he got beat. Um, you know, I said in a note last night and said, you know, if you want to get beat with a one to nine shot, that's how to do it. It's a little unfair. Um, you know, Aaron drove him like he was one to nine because he was one to nine. The horse was a little grabby. They said he made a little noise in the two hole. He was a little hot. Well, that's how he gets when you leave with him, right? That's the only problem with putting him in with horses like this. You know, he gets a little aggressive. Uh, his first start of the year, I had no problem taking him off the gate. He's a little different, too. If you keep him off the gate, you know, seesaw him a little bit, he'll come back to you. But if you slam his nose up on the gate, he'll get revvy. And, you know, Aaron doesn't know the horse other than the buggy ride with him last week. And uh, I think he got in a little trouble with him last night. And, and you know, kudos to the horse that won it. It was a big mile, 56 in the mud. There's no joke. So um, I don't think a whole lot of changes have to be made. We did wear a choke plate on uh, West 52nd last year a couple of times. I didn't think he'd need it, but looks like we might again. Uh, we'll put his two-year-old gear back on his head and uh, race him in the Cyrus Stakes next week. No concerns there. Obviously, you can see he had some issues with him, but he'll be fine. And Time Tulo finished fourth. Should have been third. Should have been third, but he finished fourth in the mud. Picked up a check in the Ontario Cyrus Stakes Grassroots Division. And he is still eligible to the maiden here. The only crappy news was War We Needy made a break the other night. Dance Hall Babe made a break. We sold Dance Hall Babe. And uh, War We Needy, I wanted to qualify. I was hoping they would hold aged horse qualifiers at Mohawk on Friday. They decided not to. So if we had a qualifier to Friday morning, we might have been able to get her back in the Sharp Series second leg. But, uh, but not now. So, anyway, uh, that's it for the training. For the, for the baby stay, 22 Ontario breads come over. A great day. 20 of them were very good. Two made breaks. And um, you look at the horses that made breaks. Um, enjoying my life never runs. Never, ever runs. She's as, usually as, uh, as honest as they come. And Canadian Titan, who's, who's made breaks in the past, but has been very good of late. And Sylvain said she was just looking at everything. So that's it. 
22 Ontario breads are, are ready to go. Um, 34 uh, American breads are hopefully going to qualify on Saturday. Uh, a few horses that are going to take a little more time to get here. But all in all, we're looking at the better part of 60, 61 horses that will be qualified by the middle of July, I would think. and uh, Or a little bit later for some of them. But uh, considering we have, what, 65 left, 66 left, I think that's a pretty good run. So, all in all, great day training. Talk to you guys soon. Hopefully to see you out. Drop me a line if you're coming to the to the baby races. Obviously, we want to bring lots of coffee and donuts out for our clients. But I uh, want to make sure that we, uh, we have enough. So, drop me a line. Let me know if you're coming. Uh, if you're bringing any family or anything. Always happy to accommodate. We'll have lots of coffee and donuts regardless. Hope to see you guys Saturday. It is going to be a beautiful day. Take care.